Okay, doing a quick one today on two uh, similar but related subjects. One is watt meters are relative. They are only somewhat accurate when you have a 50 ohm resonant uh, antenna with no harmonics or anything like that. Um, like right now, I got an amplifier in line, but it's um, on standby. And uh, it's going into a dummy load, and I'm keyed down with the digital watt meter. Um, 1.1 SWR, if I took all the junk I had in line out and just hooked it right to the dummy load, I'd have a perfect 1.0 um, match, right? Um, by the way, people talk about a perfect match is a 1.1. No, a perfect match is a 1.0. But anyway, I'm playing around with my um, junky Mako 300. Uh, gonna get it going. Got it in the Nomad keying circuit. And uh, it's got a problem on the input side. It's got almost a dead short on my input tuning. So it's unplugged, so no high voltages and all that. But I do have the low voltage coming in from um, that power supply up there. Um, into the amp so I could key the relay down so we're gonna turn it on and key we got it keyed now with the amp you know on at least the relay keyed in and my j watts jumped down to 1.2 watts and my SWR is infinity I can you know start tuning that input circuit and I can get the SWR down to like 99 to 1 which is in my first picture I'm gonna post on this and you know then then it down to 60 you know to 1 and all that uh, but it's infinity and my watts are at 1.2 I'm gonna take the amp and take it off and that's all I did was switch the um, relay off and now I'm back to uh, 3 watts 1.1 so the radio is you know trying to put out the same watts you know the radio then the watt meter right on top you know and then it goes out but I'm just saying your SWR you know starts messing around your watts you know go crazy too again three watts give or take with a 1.1 match and since this is a short the watts go way down uh, because you know watts can't really drive a, a short you know coming out the radio I'm gonna unkey it because that's not good for my radio right uh, going in, into an infinity match and on the other end if it was open instead of a short your watch would jump way up um, very very high actually when I work on amps and I see my watch jump up for no reason I, I figure I gotta open in the coax or, or something went wrong um, a lot of times if they jump down too, uh, your watts on the amp that was working, you got a short somewhere and, and it, the watts can't make it out the way it need to be. So again, um, one watt, you know, with the short going a short, three watts with the um, good SWR going into the dummy load. And if I opened, if I disconnected the antenna and put in the open, the watts would jump up, you know, uh, way higher than they should be. It's probably seven, eight watts. You know, same radio, you know, four watt final again, just showing that watt meters are relative, including a bird, it would do the same thing. Um, other thing I wanted to show is let me put the amp back on and um, yeah, see if I can get this thing to do it. It does it when it's on. There you go. Okay. So I messed with the tuner a little bit and I got it keyed down again. Mind you, this is hooked up right. In is in, out is out. But that relay is vibrating. I guess you can see it trying to kick in. This will happen with two things. One is if you got your amp hooked up backwards, input to output, output to input, it will do that. Because what's happening is the um, if you hook it up backwards, the key is circuit. When you first key down, it says, "Oh, I got watts, you know, coming in, even though they're coming in backwards." So it keys the relay, 
but since it's hooked up backwards, as soon as you key the relay, the watts drop off going into the keying circuit. There's no watts coming in now because it's hooked up backwards. So the um, keying circuit, this is a Nomad keying circuit, disconnects it. And it goes on and on and on, you know, 50 times a second or however fast that's vibrating here, yeah, right? Um, but this one is hooked up right. What is happening is it's kind of the same thing. Um, the watts are trying, they're coming in because the, uh, before the key in circuit is keyed, the watts are hooked up around, you know, to the dummy load. Before this relay is keyed, the watts loop around through this loop here. You know, this is the input side of the relay or yeah, the relay input comes in here. Output goes in here and in goes out to the antenna, you know, input comes in here. So before the relay is, is um, activated, the watts loop around and they're good. So it's a good input SWR until the relay keys. But then it keys up. And it's connected to the short. I got a short some here, somewhere in my input circuit. So now since it's a short that the radio is hooked to, the... Um, Keying circuit can't read the watts coming in because they're not really you know going in because they're shorted out now uh, Just like that watt meter there is tr is showing for the most part. So they're shorted So since it's shorted and they're not coming in it releases the relay and then once it's released It's like oh, I got watts now. I'm gonna key up. It's like oh nope. It's shorted out I got no more watts. I'm gonna release it and it goes over and over again, you know 50 that sounds like about 50 hertz, maybe 75. So however fast that buzz is, is how fast that that is activating. Um, sometimes you can put it on sideman and all that does is slow it down. Man, wrong button. Now it slows it down a lot because that sideman cap is delaying it. But it's doing the same thing. That's a lot slower with that um, sideman cap delaying the um, um, the unkeying of it so that's what's happening with that but um, check your input SWRs you know put a watt meter if your radio doesn't have one put a watt, watt meter between your um, radio and your amp and that will show the uh, input SWR and the watts going into the amp and one last thing CB amps Palomar, DNA, Mako, Farmant, they're made from basically four watts or less. Some of them are made for three and a half watts or less drive. Don't drive them with five watts, six watts, seven watts, 10 watts, 20 watts, all that kind of stuff. They are made for a, a CB from back in the day when CBs did four watts max, and before that they did three and a half watts or less that's what these amps are made for they have driver tubes in them that's why they have driver tubes to build up the drive to whatever it needs to again they are made for four watts or less um you know your radio doing too many watts uh, put a dollar watt on it or you know uh, put a little jb12 and dial it way down and uh, even swing watts can hurt an amp but they won't hurt it as bad you know you can swing you know 20 25 and 2 1 but don't swing 40 you know, don't do it, your amp, you know, it'll do it, it'll do it crazy watts, but it won't do it for long. Anyway, that's it for this one. Bye.